right, we're gonna work on the marinade for our spare ribs. I have half a cup of uh, light brown sugar in this bowl, as you can see. By the way, if you wanna use just plain sugar, use plain sugar. I'm going to add half a cup of soy sauce. One third cup of hoisin sauce. This is hoisin sauce. It comes in all kinds of makes and brands, of course. Uh, this is a very nice sauce for uh, marinating meat. It's mainly used for Peking duck. Uh, it's nice and it lasts for a long, long time. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of uh, Chinese five spice. Uh, I'm going to add a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar a quarter teaspoon of ground chilies and this is optional. I want it to have a little kick. A tablespoon of sesame oil. Four garlic cloves which I minced. And I'm going to grate uh, a one inch piece of fresh ginger in here. This is obviously been peeled. We're going to mix this well and I'm going to separate half a cup and just put it away until tomorrow. We'll make a glaze with that. You know, make sure you put it into in a covered container because otherwise your fridge is going to stink of garlic. In this bag, I have about three pounds of uh, pork spare rib. They have been cleaned, meaning I took the, the membrane out. I'll put a link on the bottom of this so you can see how I do that. It's super easy. And then just cut into individual uh, pieces. I, got, I have ten of them in here. I am going to pour the rest of that marinade in here. We're going to kind of massage it so all the pork gets covered. I'm going to take out the air and seal it. This is going to go into the fridge overnight until tomorrow, which we will cook it. Our ribs were in the fridge overnight, as I told you. I have taken them out of the marinade and set them in this roasting pan, bone side down. We're going to let them lose their chill a little bit, maybe 15 minutes, and we'll start baking them. Get rid of the bag with the marinade. We're going to cook these slowly so they're nice and tender. We're going to uh, put them in an oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 162, 163 Celsius. I am going to tent this with foil and I'm going to cook them the first hour covered. We're going to cook that marinade that we reserved with half a cup of ketchup and a tablespoon of honey. We're going to cook this for a good 10 minutes and, you know, we're just going to let it thicken a bit. All right, we're going to let this simmer like this for about 10 minutes uh, until our sauce is nice and thick. So this has been in the oven for an hour and a half. I took it out a few minutes ago uh, and it cooled down. We're going to now glaze it with that sauce we made. Be generous. 45 minutes later and these are already looking pretty good. I'm going to add a little water to the bottom of this pan. Okay, so we had one and a half hours covered, no glaze. 45 minutes covered with glaze. Now we're going to glaze again. And we're going to put these back for, I'm going to say another 40 minutes. But the first 25 we are going to do covered. And then the last 15 we'll uncover. Oh, these are ready. I actually only had them uncovered in the oven for 10 minutes. Be careful with your glaze. It will burn fast because of the honey and the hoisin. So keep an eye on it. You might have to cover it a little longer. Uh, just please be careful. Don't burn it. Look at this. It's like, oh, so good. We're going to let them cool down a little bit and we'll taste them. As far as I'm concerned, we have to eat these with our hands. Mmm. Mmm. Tender, tender meat. Ah! Flavored amazingly. These are great. I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, and you give me a like and a, and a comment and a share, that's going to be perfectly awesome. Thank you. If you haven't subbed, don't forget to sub. 
I'm gonna have this recipe on the website waiting for you guys to come and print it whenever you want. In the meantime, eat well without going broke. I'm gonna see you soon.